If you see the batter turn for a run before making their ground, then you call and signal one short. To perform the signal, you place the fingertips of one hand on the same shoulder. If you believe the batter has run one short deliberately, then you must cancel any runs scored, return the batters to their original places and award five penalty runs to the fielding team. If runs are completed, but the ball hasn't been hit by the batter or struck their body, then you signal that buys are to be awarded. To do this, simply raise one hand above your head. Should the batters complete a run after the ball has struck them on the body, you signal that leg buys have been scored. Raise one leg and tap your knee. If you feel that no shot has been played and the batter wasn't taking evasive action when struck, wait until the action has been completed before signalling dead ball and returning the batters to their original positions. You can alert the scorers that a signal is about to be made by using the pre-signal. With your arm by your side, raise your hand to 90 degrees. A delivery which has pitched, then bounced above head high, is a no ball. The umpire at the striker's end can assist by indicating this to their colleague by tapping your head. The non-striker's end umpire then calls no ball and tells the bowler that that is their one for the over. An above waist high delivery which hasn't pitched is a no ball. Here you assist your colleague by moving your hand above your waist. When giving a not out verdict to an appeal, keep your head still and simply reply. If your decision is out, raise an index finger above your head. Yeah!